We'll look now at interpreting a spiky profile for both our case studies. Firstly, we'll look at the spiky profile for Susan Jones. Then we'll move on and look at the spiky profile for John Smith. We'll be able to interpret any language literacy and numeracy issues from those graphs and be able to make some recommendations. So firstly, we're going to double click on the spiky profile for Susan. Okay, so Susan Jones's profile. You may remember hearing me speak about the red bars here represent the training requirements. So let's have a little look. We've got the level of performance here, level one, so that's under a functional level. Level two is certainly under. Now level three is the baseline for functional core skills in the workplace and at home and obviously in training as well. Now level four is above that, above the, the basic level and level five is the highest core skill level. So here's our level of performances on the y-axis. Now on the x-axis of the graph we can move along here and plot learning whether that's at a level one, a level two, a level three which is the basic and you can see here we've got the red bar that's indicating yes for this certificate for in training and assessment we would need any of our candidates at a learning core level of level three to be able to participate in the course that we've designed and what's required under the training package. Now you'll see the line above here that is Susan's spiky profile. This whole line here is Susan's core performance. All right, so Susan operates at a learning core skill level four, and this wasn't designed by a language literacy and numeracy expert. That is our trainers and assessors applying the ACF, ACSF tool, the Australian Core Skills Framework document, and going to the learning section, they then went to the sample tasks and were able to, you know, having spoken to Susan and, and assessed her, determined that, you know, she was certainly higher than what was required at a level three. So you can see along here, Susan again is higher at a level four with reading and that really came automatically from the fact that she independently finished a degree and there was a lot of um, you know, level four type samples that, that, you know, you've had a look at already and the course obviously was at a level three. Writing, now Susan wasn't as high uh, in her performance with writing but that isn't a problem because she's still within the range. She's writing at a level three and the course requirements are at a level three. Oral communication, yes, she's right up there at a four. And in a certificate for in training and assessment, when there is such a need for verbal communication, um, written communication, uh, being able to listen and take in information, you can go and look at those sample tasks there for a level four oral communication. And yes, she very much met that requirement. Numeracy, now this looks a bit odd, except you can see she's above the red. So long as she's above the red with her line. These ones are above the red, so she's fine. This one's within the red, within the, the top red, so that's okay. If, if her, her spiky profile came down lower into the red, then yes, there would be some issues. But overall, Susan Jones as far as the requirements for the qualification certificate for in training and assessment has no issues. There is no need to support her. We'll now open up uh, John Smith's spiky profile. Okay, so here's John Smith's spiky profile and we can see a big difference in results here once again. The level required, level three, which is the, the functional in the workplace and for training and at home, uh, was required at a level three, but he actually came out with his learning level under that at a level two. Also, again, it was required at a level three for training, but his reading core skill came out at a level two. His writing as well, under, at a level two, he was fine with his oral communication 
and with his numeracy skills. So the issues we have with John are that he will need some support to undergo his course. And if we can look down here, his course was a license to operate a forklift truck. So that was a unit there. So if he were to um, embark on the whole of the course rather than just that element one where it's quite practicable to provide you know that oral communication for him in those first few performance criterion if he was to undergo the whole course we really would need to look at raising some of his levels there with an LLN expert.